You can find photographs of the Shambhala bracelets on our website, preziosa-ornella.com. There, you will also find two PDFs, which will show you how to make two different Shambhala bracelets. In this video, we will show you how to make this particular bracelet. Today we are going to make this Shambhala bracelet made with Preziosa Ornella beads and seed beads. We'll need wooden beads decorated with small seed beads as well as two zero rocaille beads. We'll also need either leather or wax string like Nymo or Silamide. First, we start by cutting a 40 centimeter piece. There. And now a longer 160 centimeter piece. So we're going to count off eight of these halfway, and three more lengths of 20, two and three, and that makes 160 centimeters. Now take the shorter 40 centimeter piece and tie a simple knot at the one end. And now we'll start adding the beads to this string. And we'll alternate rocaille decorated bead, rocaille decorated bead until, just like in the PDF guide, we have used five decorated beads. There. Now, once you've added the last rock aisle, make a knot at the end of the 40 centimeter string, like so. Now cross the two knotted ends together, making sure you separate out the last rock aisle beads. And now take the long 160 centimeter string and tie a knot around the bracelet like so. And now we're going to macrame around the two 40 centimeter strings. And we're using a simple square knot and we're going to make three pairs of knots in one direction. So that is one pair. We have our first square knot done. And here is the second. Ha this is the first one of the second knot. And tighten it well. And here we have the second of the second pair. Now one more pair. And always remember to nicely tighten it. And the last pair of the third knot. There. And we have three pairs. Now separate out the short string with the rock aisle on it, and we're going to continue macrameing with seven pairs of knots on the non rock aisle string. So here is the first knot, or rather the first half of the first knot, and the second half, here we go, of the first knot. And we continue on, one more pair. And now we fast forwarded and we should have six pairs. Let's count them off. Five, six, yes, so we need one more pair. And now we're ready to incorporate the beads as soon as we finish this seventh knot. And move up the first decorated bead. And macrame one pair of knots behind it. There you go. Now we'll 
move up the rock aisle. And another pair of knots. And so on until we have macrame in every single one of the beads. So here we have the decorated one. Now we've got the last bead and we're going to make seven pairs of knots again around this string just like we did on the other end. So here we start with the first first pair of knots and again make sure you always nicely tighten each knot behind the beads and then when you're macrameing and super quick we're going to make another six knots. If you practice hard enough, one day you'll be able to do it just as fast. There, so we should have seven. Let's count them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Good. Now we're going to adjust the bracelet so that the two loose ends with the rocailles on them are approximately the same length. In this case, we're going to tighten the bracelet a little bit. Now let's add in the string with the rocaille around it, and we're going to continue to macrame with that loose end as well. So macrame using the long string. Here we go, our first knot with both the strings. And we just keep macrame, we keep doing the square knots until we don't have any more string left. Here we are, it's getting pretty short. Remember, this is our long string. So we'll make another couple knots. There. So that's about it, that's all we can do. So we're going to now take each of the strings separately and make a little knot at the end of it. And we're gonna push the knot as close to the bracelet as we can. We're basically finishing it off. There you see just a simple knot. And push the knot all the way towards the waist bracelet, making it into a small, tiny knot. It's almost invisible which is exactly what you want. And tighten it really, really well. There you go. Now see it's very tiny. And same thing on the other one. Make a loop, string it through. You have your knot and that's it. Push it all the way and tighten very, very well. There, now both your strings are knotted. And if you've got good tight knots, we can just snip off the string. Clean it up. There we go. Now we're just gonna try and make sure that the bracelet can easily adjust. Yep, it's working. And we put it up on, on and tighten it. And if you're flexible, you can do it yourself. And we're done. There you go. Our new Shambhala bracelet. This and other projects can be found on preziosa-ornella.com.
A step-by-step -step guide of the various macrame knots can be found on our macrame knots video. Don't miss out on new projects, products, and exciting promos. Sign up today for our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. And happy macrame beading!